Hi all, this is another exciting game given to me by David Grosvenor. Laser against Leela Chass. Uh, this is a, a, a very fast time control, 40 moves per minute. D4 from Laser, Knight F6, C4, E6. So we go into the Nimzo engine defense. So Leela Chass playing the Nimzo engine. We have Queen C2, which was a favorite move of Garry Kasparov. Black castles, A3, Bishop takes, Queen takes. So White has the bishop pair, and now what does Leela play? She plays d6, knight f3, knight bd7, e3, and now playing rook e8 for a quick e5. Now, this actually is a, a very aggressive idea in a way, setting up uh, an advanced pawn chain a bit like another game we've just looked at on the channel. A really aggressive pawn chain is set up first, it seems to be becoming. Uh, a Leela pattern here. Black, uh, after castling, has the opportunity here to gain space with e4. So, this position, how dangerous is it for white? Well, Leela plays d5 here, offering a temporary pawn sack. Uh, I mean, not, not really a temp temporary pawn sack, but to, to damage the pawn chain. But this wasn't played because knight b6. Uh, the pieces do an adequate job here of controlling e4 and recollecting on d5 with uh, an okay position, a good position. So white actually ignored d5, didn't take that opportunity to, for c takes, and just played b3. Now this bishop will be hemmed in by its own pawn chain if it goes to b2. Knight f8, and already this, this is actually quite an aggressive move. It has an aggressive intent. This move, h3, especially after h3, knight g6, the knight can entrench itself on h4 here. Bishop b2, knight h4. Very aggressive play with the knights. Now here, the move c6 was played to try and avoid any issues down the c-file for the moment. a4, as though maybe this diagonal is useful. The bishop coming to a3 sometimes. But now, Queen d7 with aggressive and fairly uh, obvious intent uh, to maybe smash this pawn chain to bits. Now, white didn't take the opportunity here to play a move like bishop f1. Didn't. Maybe, you know, something like g5 is very, very aggressive. In any case, trying to open up that g file. So that wasn't tried. We see instead bishop a3 so Leela goes for it she does sack the knight here for two pawns and it's in this position actually there's potentially of just a very clinical continuation uh, available which mysteriously maybe because of the very fast time you try it wasn't played by uh, this Leela ID 499 c5 was played but it does appear as though the immediate rook lift could be fatal for white uh, if you want to check the variations in the PGN, I'll give a, a pinned comment or in the description. Check the pinned comment for that interactive PGN. But it seems as though rookie six, uh, maybe with more time this would be found, it seems very clinical. For example, knight f1, knight g4 takes rook g6. This is just crashing through. This attack with rook and queen is crashing through as an example. Uh, it's a very, very dangerous attack after rookie six. It doesn't seem. In fact, it doesn't seem as though white could actually defend against rook e6 here. There doesn't seem to be any adequate, uh, any adequate defense. Uh, yeah, you know, so knight f1, knight g4. Yeah, this this is just okay. But uh, so c5 was played, maybe a bit of a let off then for white for a moment. C takes. Uh, you might think, well, what, what about this pawn? Why has it been offered two ways? Let's have a look. On d takes, then we do have stuff like knight g4 still and rook, and rook e5 even as a rook left. This is really strong. With queen f3 uh, threatening bishop h3, it's just even uh, this idea to offer the rook is absolutely winning for black because of g2 being an issue. Uh, on bishop take c5 instead, you might wonder well, why not take c5 like that. The rook lift is still on here, in fact, uh, and that's just trying to delay things. Bishop e7 is it's an absolutely decisive 
possession. Uh, this would be absolutely crushing, for example. Uh, so, is this a method to the madness in playing c5? Instead of rook e6. Well, let's see what happens. C takes bishop g4. So, Leela's actually deprived herself of that clinical move, rook e6. Uh, bishop f1. But this is still a dangerous possession. This is still a very dangerous possession here. After queen h5, bishop g2, bishop f3. Knight f1, queen g4, knight g3, h5. Black's got all the pressure here on white's king. Queen e4. And now c takes d4. Yeah, it looks as though e3 is coming. If it takes, then e3 is looking very nasty. So white is in big trouble anyway here. Bishop c5. We see h4. Bishop takes d4. Knight takes d5, rook c4, h takes g. Black's chewing her way to that king. And now the rook left here anyway, rook e6. So white's just pretty defenseless in this position. Bishop takes, e takes, we have rook h2. That's taken off, and the attack is relentless, rook e8. So another rook left potentially on the cards, queen f2. But actually here, instead of uh, rook e6, we have actually rook e4. And now queen c2, f5. So this is another interesting approach. Check, rook c4. And there's a really crushing uh, tactical blow played in this position very very clinical tactical blow I wonder if you can spot it black to play if I give you five seconds to pause the video so black to play here okay knight f4 yeah this is absolutely crushing uh, in this position if g takes then rook e6 with the idea of rook h6 mating uh, is uh, as an example, just put it on the board like checkmate. There's very little uh, white can do there. And on e takes, in fact, this is the game continuation. Rook e2 is very, very good for black, as you might expect. Uh, but even more clinical is rook e1, fratter than queen h5 checkmate. So taking away escape squares. Uh, so here, uh, it's pretty much all over. Bishop f6 is a desperate move. G takes. Queen's eight f five check absolute desperation. The game ended here. Obviously, Black can just take the queen, and the checks are gonna run out. Okay, so um, yeah, absolutely crushing game. But maybe because of the fast time control, there was a clinical move. It seems to have been missed. But anyway, Black's attack was very very strong. It was well worth that knight sacrifice for two pawns. Okay, I hope you got something from that. Very aggressive use of the Nimzo Indian there. Comments, questions, likes, shares, appreciated. Thanks very much.